Hello guys, what is going on? It is Baza here, and today we're going to be doing the F4F3 uh, Grumman Wild... F4F Wildcat, sorry, uh, which was built in the... Uh, first introduced uh, into the United States Army on in the December of 1940, and retired five years later in 1945, with a total of 7,885 built with a top speed of 318 miles per hour and if you're Australian like me or in not a backwards co country like unlike the US uh, will be in kilometers and that is not meant to be a thing um, so this is what we did last uh, episode which was the Banshee looks like a very nice aircraft there uh, so we're actually gonna go new aircraft and we're going to build the Wildcat uh, which consists of um, this, <laughs> which consists of this, this, and possibly this, but yes, uh, it definitely does consist of this and one of the engines that I got from a new mod, uh, which I can't remember what the actual name is, but it is a nice mod, I must tell you that. A total of 120 thrust, we have the D25 radial engine, which is what we'll be replacing all the other ones, such as the... Uh, these propellers and all that, because they're crap. I don't care, they're crap. Um, there is much better shit you can use. Um, so we'll be using this to go like that, and we need uh, obviously some form of jet fuel, which will come from uh, here, obviously. Which that's the wrong one, and then we need to go here to get the oblong to thing character, and that's that. Um, I know it's a little weird at the end. It probably actually looks better if it went that way, but I'm trying to look at the design of the F4F Wildcat, and that's sort of how it is. Hey. Oh, sorry, do you yawn there? Um, but yeah. Oh, okay. That's where that was. I should have used this in a video that I did the other day, but I did not see that, so that sucks. But it, that doesn't really matter, because I'll be using the canards this episode, um, because of the design. What the hell? Ah, because I must have done something, as that appears to be on a weird angle. Um, I will probably, you know, I'll just put it the other way. It, look, it makes it look better, and it doesn't look as strange. Um, so we'll just do that, followed by the use of winglets at the back, as such. Alright, so that is obviously that part of the aircraft already done, uh, which is all we need now is the wings. So this is going to be a relatively short video um, because of the design of the aircraft and of how pretty simple it is to build, uh, which is probably why it was a supreme choice for uh, fighting. So I aim to use one of these things, but it's obviously not going to work because they're way too bloody big. Um, so I don't even know why I'm trying when I should just be getting the procedural wings like this, chucking them right in the middle there. Actually, they're more in the front, actually. Um, going here, going there to check everything. Oops, that's... don't want that. I want that. Um, and they actually sort of stayed pretty much the same size all the way through. Which then all it needed was a bit of control surfaces to control the uh, flow of air. Need some flaps. Flaps on deck, officer. Here we go. Just going to probably make them a little bit bigger. And we just bring that just forward a stripe bit and chuck them back on there. And there we go. Here is the F4F Wildcat. Probably, possibly the fastest episode we have ever done um, of building iconic planes. This is episode 13, I believe, or 12. I am not sure, because I lose track constantly of what the hell I'm doing. So, here we go. The get rid of there thing.
Ooh, okay. Alright, so... Oh, we have forgotten <laughs> about <laughs> the actual... Ah, uh, we gone. How do I not know what they're called? Obviously, they're called bloody... <sighs> How did we forget that? We forgot the... That is very, very poor. We forgot the most important part of a plane. It's wheels and legs. How we forgot that, I will never understand. But, we've still got it, so it's all good. Chuck that there. We're going to now launch the Grumman F4F Wildcat KSB Edition. Kerbin Engineering, the best in the world. And, uh, here we go. We actually have some sort of... I love this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that. Straight up into the air. Wheels down. I mean, wheels up. About a 10, and we're just gonna fly over to here for testing. We pretty much took right off, and today we have Joe Rim again. We have Joe Rim Kerman as our pilot for today. Maybe I should set reverse thrust and see what happens. That would be, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Um, looks like our top speed would be about 115 at this altitude. As you know, the higher the altitude you get faster you can go. Um, I do love these engines though. They're really nice. They're making a lot of noise. They have a good animation. As you can probably tell. Just turn slightly. Just let the aircraft do it for me. Even if it's very slow. I probably just turn it myself. Joe Rim doesn't look very happy, but here we go, time will test while we go over there. Oh, 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 what's going on here? Oh, we're losing a bit of control. Oh, we'll get, I don't think we can go. Doesn't exactly, doesn't seem to appear to like being under the influence of time acceleration. So we're going to have to fly over here. What? Don't actually s the um. That was weird. Sometimes it just sort of flips up when it is above the horizon. That's a little strange. Let's tuck it at a stop speed of about 20 meters. And I'm using about 0 0.06 fuel per second. Is that per second or per minute? I don't know how much that is actually. It's definitely not per minute. Because that would probably be stupid. As we slowly come in. Seems to be any sort of change causes the plane to pretty much pitch up automatically. Uh, which is obviously a flaw, probably caused by having these here. Any sort of movement to the left or the right causes the plane to... Any movement in this seems to cause the plane to sort of just start pitching up. But it's not too bad. I wish we had natural cockpit. Oh shit, pitching down. Oh, pitching up a bit too much there as well. Even with the uh, inline stabilizer, we still have a couple of issues. But that should not matter. So this will probably be the last one for the week. Um, and also have some videos out. So I'm actually just waiting on Wolfenstein, which I believe comes out on the 20th, so that's next Tuesday. Um, so Wednesday. Probably won't be until Wednesday when I get by. Um, but. I'm yawning again. Um, I probably actually won't be able to touch it until uh, Wednesday night, or maybe Thursday afternoon, because uh, I am busy on those days. Um, so it's our school and all that. Yeah. 
But it is one of the things I want to get a playthrough done on, regardless of how long it does take me. Start coming in for a beautiful landing. Just a nice bit. I'm going to cut the engine to about two, about two, about uh, what's two thirds? About thir about sixty-six percent. I don't want to jump again. Oh, don't pitch too down too far. Engine two. And a third. Oh, shit. Stop pitching so hard. Oh, shit. Wait, we haven't got the wheels down. Whoops. That could have turned out to be really bad. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ooh. Come down. Come on. Come down. Come on. Oh wait, we haven't even touched the ground yet. There we go, touch the ground. Brakes, right there. Beautiful. Uh, so we're going to unlock the steering actually on these two things. And we're just going to give us a bit of power to turn around. Set reverse thrust. Break. And we're going to set normal thrust. I like having reverse thrust. I'm going to just go over here in terms of. We're going to actually go park in the hangar. Why not? Probably take off at this speed. Here we go, take off. I should probably should break before we. I'm gonna park inside the hangar. This will be a first. I should just park all my planes in the hangar. Reverse thrust, and we're going to back up a little bit. Are we actually getting any thrust? Yeah, we're getting a slight bit of thrust, that's all we need. Just a slight bit as we reverse into the hangar. Beautiful. So, there's that. Our plane is well done. Uh, the Joe Rim is probably exceptionally happy with the design of his aircraft as it keeps running in the background. And I'm gonna run through the blades, of course, as usual. Look here, get a nice picture. There we go, there's our picture of the day. And uh, so, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and a comment. Um, and also comment on what sort of plane you would like to see uh, next time, um, as this will probably be the last video for the week, and I'll be looking for new uh, options for next week. And if you also would like to see more content, be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button and any other referral links below, because uh, they're always helpful. And uh, that is me, guys, uh, signing off, and I uh, will see you next time.